Dan, I was saying, I want to get your take on another big tech story that we're watching here on Yahoo Finance. EU hitting Amazon with those antitrust charges. The company, or they're accusing the company of abusing its dominance in online shopping. What are the implications of this? Because we talk about this time and time again, just the EU's crackdown of the U.S. tech giants, yet it seems like investors are always able to brush off any of these concerns. Yeah, I think this time around, it's going to be a little bit different in the sense that there are already investigations into Amazon going on in the U.S. as well. So we may end up seeing something along the lines of the company being hit on both sides of the Atlantic. And, you know, really what it comes down to is I think investors are more nervous about what would potentially happen to the company. The the idea of a breakup is so far from anyone's mind that I think investors recognize that, and that's why they don't freak out as much. Uh, but some kind of remedy uh, that could you know, dramatically impact Amazon's business could come. Uh, but I think what they really look at is you know currently AWS, and that really seems to be uh, the focus of so many investors. Sure, uh, we did see people go nuts after Prime Day, uh, proved to be uh, stupendous for them this year. Uh, people wanted to buy stuff. Uh, they obviously didn't get a chance to do that during the summer because of the pandemic and there was that pent up demand. But I think, you know, as long as AWS is untouched and they can continue to work with third party sellers, I think investors are going to be OK with Amazon. All right, Dan Halley, thanks so much, as always, for breaking down all the tech news for us.